Okay, we are done with Death Valley and we're on our way to our boondocking place for the night. And there's some more wildflowers. So dirty. Welcome to Chasing Landscapes. We're Jack and Mary, and we're full-time RVers, traveling the country and exploring new places. I'm an artist, and we're always looking to capture our adventures on canvas. So come along with us as we go chasing some landscapes. Well, there's good old lost wages out there in the distance. They ain't getting any of my money this trip. We're headed to a place called the Seven Magic Mountains. It was created by an artist named Hugo Rondinon. It was erected in 2016 and was supposed to be taken down after a couple of years, but it still remains so popular that thousands of people visit it daily. These colorful boulders are stacked more than 30 feet high. This just happens to be really close to where we're boondocking tonight. So we just thought we'd stop by and take a look. Let's go check it out. Alright, here we are. They still have the seven magic mountains up. This is where we're going to be camping. Guys, we made it to the BLM land off of Branch Road. Looking forward to a peaceful evening. Thanks, KYD. Look at how pretty this is. I did see some ATVers back there. They could we Pull-outs 
were about to find out just how significant that little puff of dust really was. It is a little bit windy out here, so it might just be the wind that's kicking up the dust. So here we are. We are on a ATV trail and this guy is hot dogging it out here. He just drove all the way across here and he's doing it again. It's hauling butt. Uh oh. oh. I thought he broke something. Look at these mountains though, you guys. This is so pretty. Swirls. Are you cold? I won't be. It's a beautiful valley. So we have entertainment and we have beautiful scenery. So we're just going to sit out here and have a couple of drinks maybe and let the night settle in. It's supposed to be kind of windy and it's supposed to rain it, it just barely did last night in Olancha so oh this is nice so we see some people parked way out there on the flats so we just decided we just decided to uh, pull over on the off the side of the road we kind of came a long ways down this road so we did um, but anyways surrounded by beautiful mountains and scenery this is really awesome there's a couple of rowdies over there. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> Anyways, okay. This is the our destination for day two. All right. We'll check back with you in the morning to see how everything went. Okay. So we're on our way to Wyoming, and we look up the spot. Just it's by uh, Las Vegas just right next door to the Seven Magic Mountains and it's a place where the Mint 400 Raceway happens and if you in case you're not aware of what the Mint 400 races it started way back in the 60s and it's it's super cool it's where you know you can do off-road trucks and off-road motorcycles and four by fours and you name it they do it there off-roading and uh, I, I had no idea where it was, but I'm so glad I found it because in March, that's a great place to be. So we're just going to boondock here for one night. It's a wonderful place, very quiet and, and easy to find and easy to, to find a location for it once you get in there. And we look forward to coming back here in March to see the race. So what Jack didn't tell you is the Mint 400 off-road race 
was originally called the Mint 400 Del Webb Desert Rally. It was created in 1968 by a guy named Norm Johnson, who was the promoter of the Mint Hotel and Casino. The race originally had just over 100 vehicles and by 1970 had grown to over 300. And it was known to be one of the toughest off-road races in North America. It started and ended at the Mint in Prim, Nevada and covered 400 miles of rough desert terrain. Because of its popularity, it's grown exponentially and has become a festival with over 150 exhibitors and 60,000 spectators over a two-day period. They hold gatherings at Fremont Street and even parade their vehicles down the Las Vegas Strip. The race is live-streamed to over 800,000 viewers worldwide. This very area is their track. So if you boondock on BLM land here, you might discover, as we did, that you're smack dab in the middle of the track of one of the most spectacular off-road races in the world. We had an excellent time discovering this awesome BLM land, and we're so excited that we got a great place to boondock for the night, and also discovering the history behind the great American off-road race. And we'd really like to come back here and see it next year. Until then... It's off to our next stop, which will be St. George, Utah. Once again, thank you for joining us, and we hope you come along on our next adventure. Do you have a question, comment, or suggestion? Please let us know. We like talking to you. We'd sure appreciate you liking and subscribing to our channel. Be sure to hit the notification bell and please share, share, share with your friends.